another edition of Pitch Brand Talk. I have with me today Bhavan Devpuria. He's the marketing head at uh, for India and Sri Lanka at Triumph International. Very excited to have Bhavan with us today because this is a category where we don't uh, category which we don't speak much about. Bhavan, welcome to Pitch Brand Talk. Thank you. Thank you. Bhavan, starting off, I want to know, you know, you've just recently had a campaign. So what was the insight behind the Take Me As I Am campaign and how does it take forward your overarching proposition of it's a first, it's personal? So, you know, uh, Take Me As I Am is a campaign that celebrates women's authentic selves. You know, uh, it is urging them to embrace their individuality. But at the same time, unapologetically, uh, it's it's absolutely built on uh, the overarching theme of its personal because, you know, uh, embracing yourself, uh, take you as, a, as you are, uh, is absolutely very, very individualistic. Hence, it is personal. Uh, by exploring the intimate connection between your self-perception and personal style. At the heart of our campaign, we have this captivating video which features diverse models. They mm-hmm. represent different body types, personalities, uh, and we want to showcase our commitment to inclusivity and empowerment. Uh, with each model, they exclude confidence, which is highlighting within our range of bras that are tailored to diverse, different bust sizes, lifestyle, reinforcing our messaging of embracing diversity and self-expression. So how is your media evolved uh, as a category? What are you using right now? Is is digital the lead medium? And also, if we take it a little forward, how important is performance marketing and influencer mm. marketing for your category per se? So absolutely. I mean, our media mix uh, has evolved, uh, you know, over the years. Uh, initially, traditionally, we, you know, uh, right now we are uh, spoiled with choices. Uh, be it as a consumer or be it as a marketer. But at the same time, it is important that we do not spread ourselves too thin. Hence, uh, digital plays the most important role. Everything that we consume is in that seven inch uh, screen is on your phone. Uh, Every moment should be Instagrammable or a Snapchat moment. Uh, With that, how is it important? And most importantly, how do we reach out to the woman that we want to communicate to? Our media mix has gone through a significant evolution that caters to the consumers, not only in the metros, but also the tier two and tier three towns, which is also prioritizing marketplaces along with the physical stores for accessibility. Digital marketing plays the center of our entire strategy, you know, uh, starting with uh, targeted ads, social media campaigns, our SEO strategies are also uh, tailor to resonate with the online shopping uh, experience. We are enhancing our brand visibility and showing and showcasing that exact in-store experiences as well. Our omni-channel strategy ensures seamless uh, integration, offering a consistent uh, brand experience across channels. Additionally, influencer marketing plays the most important role. You know. Uh, one strategy that I would always uh, feel that has really, really worked for us is instead of going with the mega influencers, uh, we want to go with the woman who actually uh, wants to buy the product. We, we go with nano influencers and micro influencers. And most importantly, from the tier two towns, uh, which the audience resonates with. That's where the audience also connects with. And we see great results. We get some great engagement rates of 17 to 20%, uh, which also along with doing everything amplifies our brand messaging most effectively. You know, you mentioned physical stores. So just I want to ask you this. Is lingerie, as we spoke about, is a very, very intimate subject. But how to personalize and, you know, uh, personalize and elevate a consumer experience especially in this category where a lot of women i believe till today would probably be going while e-commerce has uh, you know seen a significant growth you know you mentioned tier two and tier three cities a lot of women might be going to the physical stores right yeah. so yes how do you personalize this experience so uh it's very important we've got uh really trained staff uh 
who know how to measure, how to calculate and communicate with the consumer. If you go to any of the stores, not everybody would end up going to a mall to shop. Not everybody would go to uh, uh, go on a Mintra or an Amazon to shop. Uh, but at the same time, there are mom and pop stores as well. Uh, we have uh, our mix of stores is from mom and pop stores. We have franchise stores. We have our D2C uh, visibility and we have uh, marketplaces as well. So we are giving the consumer the option to choose from. Getting at the store, it is important that you get your fit, uh, fitting done, which is a fit test, so that you know that what is your exact fit, whether you are where we are already wearing the correct fit or not. Hence, personalized experience during that entire fit session becomes most important and critical, not only for us but also for a consumer, because women go through different changes in lives. You know. Starting from hitting puberty to, uh, you know, getting married uh, to uh, becoming a mother and getting on to a stage of menopause. Size of the breast changes every six months. And hence, it is important for a woman to feel that comfort so that she can actually embrace her individuality. Hence, getting the fitness done is really important. And how that's how we we get into the personal space uh, with our uh, essays, which is store assistants who actually ensure that the consumer who walks into the store gets the correct fit. Any changes or trends that you've seen in the Indian women and how it has evolved say, in the last couple of years? Oh, I mean, it's been very interesting. You know, uh, we see a lot of urbanization. Uh, what used to be a tier 3 town is a tier 2 town now. What used to be a tier 2 town is a tier 1 town. And you see the way metro has grown. Metros itself would have a tier 1, tier 2 and a tier 3 town. Uh, you know, especially when you talk about the NCR regions, be it in Delhi. You talk about your new, new Navi Mumbai, which is a part of Mumbai still. But there are tier 2 and tier 3 towns. There's a good amount of urbanization within women. They just don't want to be told how to feel. They just want to feel uh, and embrace their unique sense of individuality. And by that, uh, they're moving away from the regular beiges, the regular blacks, the regular nudes. But at the same time, are looking to also explore with a little more lifestyle and fashionable lingerie. We see that. Uh, we see a great influx that is coming from uh, tier 2, tier 3 towns. And yes, uh, our confidence to get this particular data to us, uh, you know, is uh, absolutely your online shoppers. Uh, we, we are not being able to uh, service every space in tier 2, tier 3. Hence, it becomes important for us to be accessible through a Mintra, uh, through an Amazon. And also having a simple bra size calculator, which is sitting at home, you can calculate your size and you can order the perfect fit. So we have one uh, bra size calculator, a bus size calculator also on our website that helps enables the interactive shopping. Uh, could you elaborate a little bit more on your online, uh, sh uh, online uh, strategy? Well, you know, and even the experience, because you mentioned you're on all the marketplaces like Mintra Correct. as well as your website. So Correct. what is the traction you're seeing on both? So a uh, website, we see a pure and pure loyal consumer. She is uh, she is not moved by discount, but she uh, she is the one who if she wants a bra, she comes to our website and she pays a full price for it. She does not mind having that. The reason that we have our website is a long process that we've gone through and uh, strategically we want to get into the space of omni channel that if today you want an experience at store you get it today you want an experience online you have it if you're looking for discounts we have marketplace too that's a part of our strategy now uh, what is the percentage of sales if you could tell us uh, between I... online and offline I am I'm sorry I cannot share these numbers but I can tell you one thing uh, online is one particular channel that uh, we are banking big on uh, okay. especially on marketplaces as okay. in when we see increase in urbanization many women actually shop online now 
because of the accessibility, they don't need to physically go to the store if they already know their size. Uh, in India, so we, I'll just give you, uh, you know, a little bit of an example that uh, we had uh, one of our campaigns and activation campaigns that we done, we had done last year, and we continue to do that. We called it as a Braffit challenge. We said, if you know your size, uh, come to the store and take a challenge. Uh, if you know your size, you win the challenge. We gratify you with a gift. But if you don't know your size, uh, you know, we will take you through that entire journey to measure your size and we'll give you a fit card, which will tell you your exact size. And if you end up shopping for XYZ amount, you get another gift. Uh, knowing that, that helped us with good amount of data. We got to know that different regions, different states, uh, uh, different percentage of women actually did not know the right size. Uh, but uh, all in all, around 20, 25 odd percent women knew their sizes, which means... That's it? Yes. That's, that's, that's a matter of fact. Uh, with 25, so I, we see it as an opportunity, you know. If 25% women know their size, which means that they can easily shop online. That means they can easily go on a Mintra or Amazon on our, or on our D2C site and they can shop. While we continue to cater and educate every woman that we would want to, uh, so that they are comfortable knowing their right size. Like I said, the bus size of best breast size of every woman changes every six months. Hence, there is always uh, uh, an option that a woman might not know her right size at that point in time. Now, a Trump International launched its first exclusive store in 2022 in India. That's yeah. really recent. So what is your strategy on this front as far as your exclusive stores are concerned? So uh, we have a model which is uh, a franchise model. Uh, we want to be present, uh, you know, as as a part of all the lifestyle malls that we are opening because consumers nowadays want an experience, and these stores uh, absolutely give that that part of an experience. Uh, you know, we have a great range of products which we might not be able to showcase at an entirety, be it at a shoppers or a lifestyle or even at a mom and pop store. So our own store, uh, when I say our own store, it is a franchise model that we are with. That helps us to actually showcase the entire breadth uh, and the length of the offerings that we have. And it also builds in a bit of more trust uh, within the consumers because we are looking to make one-to-one -one relations and not one-to-many. What ends up also happening is we also attract a lot of loyal customers who would want to come to our store specifically and want to shop. That gives us an opportunity to communicate back with them. So but, that's uh, the major... Sorry, go on. No, please continue. So that's, that's one of the major legs that you see that we are opening uh, many stores. Uh, we were at uh, 12 when we ended... Uh, you know, 22, but now today we are at 18 stores and we will continue to open more stores. But other than your exclusive stores, can you just elaborate on your retail distribution strategy? Sure. How you're looking sure. to go dip, uh, deeper and penetrate into India? So, uh, we are present over 1500 plus points. With this 1500 plus points, uh, when I say uh, we are over 300 department stores, which is shoppers, lifestyle, Pantaloon, Centro, Azot. Uh, we are a part of over 1,000. Uh, within this, we are a part of over 1,000 plus mom and pop stores, which is a traditional uh, retail. So, like I said, not everybody ends up uh, going to a mall to buy a bra. You, you would go to a normal a Betty store, which is uh, in Bandra or in Antheri. Uh, and having that particular distribution, we are available across spaces. You will find more of a traditional retail uh, is more of a phenomena in phenomenon in Bombay and uh, Mumbai and Delhi. Uh, but at the same time, uh, for the rest of the accessibility, we have our own D2C site that we launched last year in the month of March. We are present across all marketplaces from Amazon, Mintra, uh, Ajio, uh, Tata Click, Nike, Zivame. So that gives customer an option to choose from where they want to buy. 
and making making ourselves move towards our entire omni channel strategy so the wedding season must be a big season for you but i'm surprised to learn that the summer season is also a big uh, opportunity for uh, triumph so can you tell us uh, a little bit more about this see summer is uh, uh, you know to uh, i will not get into too much of technicality but summer is something where as an apparel industry itself goes through a good amount of shift uh, you know you would want something which is a little more absorbent you would want to give away your old uh, lingerie because it's time to say goodbye uh, because during summer you sweat a lot there's a lot of sagging that happens because of that hence you would there is a need for buying new lingerie uh, it's a pure a play technical and a super need based season that happens in summer summer it becomes really important for women to actually go out and buy lingerie and the oh, wedding uh, the wedding season also is all part of the trousseau wedding season is all part of the trousseau we have couple of wedding offers that we give uh, you know where uh, we've done couple of wedding where we've given a trousseau box uh, you know a trousseau trolley bags uh, in the past for women shopping for the entire trousseau were to be 10000 and above uh, and we continue to see there's a good amount of uptake in that so wedding you, becomes does become most important as well you're in your what is the growth that uh, triumph has seen if you could uh, give us an estimate i am sorry i cannot share these numbers but we are at a stage see 2023 uh, was a little uh, rocky for us uh, i would say uh, because the estimations in terms of uh, walk ins into the stores uh, did not meet uh, expectation but 2024 is somewhat we see uh, our objective is clear uh, we w- we do see a great uh, number of walk ins that are coming back uh, and all of this is for experience uh, so 24 sees a, a good year for us so you're banking a lot on experience to draw in the consumer yeah, absolutely but it's just not us it's a consumer who's also banking on an experience that they would get so it's more of an experience that you see a consumer is looking out for in today's time and uh, if i were to ask you uh, on uh, you know the, to get in the consumer experience you would also have uh, to do a lot of media exposure so are you looking to up your spends even in terms of percentage if you could tell me your we media spends uh we would do that percentage uh, i'm sorry i will i will not be able to comment on that but at the same time what we do is we make uh, see whenever we do we plan our media spends it's a profitable media spend by spending x if we end up getting uh, 2x and that is still profitable we don't mind spending that's how our strategy works and we built it uh, for the entire year break it down into months and weeks and we take it by the week as well finally uh, what are the few, what can we expect from triumph international looking ahead looking ahead we will have uh, growth within a number of stores that we will increase that is one secondly we will increase our footprints with uh, not only franchise but also traditional retail thirdly we are having good amount of experiential uh, department stores that are opening especially with uh, with the likes of lifestyle shoppers their plans are to grow big and we are a part of that plan too uh, along with that uh we we are going to continue to build ourselves uh, equally and strengthen ourselves on marketplaces most importantly with mintra going forward so yes our strategy looks pretty much uh with each channel we're going to be growing thank you so much bhavin for your time it was very very insightful talking to you thank you thank you